This is Mike Farmer with the Fighting News here at the Casino Miami down here in South Miami. I'm here with the winner tonight, Ahmed, the American Pharaoh, El Bialy. How you Mike. doing, bud? Good, Mike. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Good. Hey, it was great to see you again. Great to see you back in action once again. I know, you know, there hasn't been a lot of fights tremendously over the last few years, but you definitely put a lot of work tonight. Thank you. Um, yeah, right now in boxing, you guys know, it's a, it's a blessing to get one or two fights a year. So this was one of those fights. Uh, it was a little rusty of a fight, but we got the job done. Thankfully, we had a great training camp. Um, very uh, performance-driven camp. We're shooting every day to become world champions, and that's the next target on our goal is to become a world champion. Right. I know you've been working towards that, obviously, pretty viciously. Um, you changed gyms. You changed a few things around over the last uh, year and a half since I last saw you, right? Yeah. Um, how's that been going for you? Great. Um, we have a lot of my original team members, like Carlos, with me, um, but we've made an addition. I've known Al Bonani for the past maybe close to 10 years since the start of my pro career, and um, we decided to have him lead us on this pro journey, especially in the world championship level, and we're fortunate to have him, and it's been uh, a great experience and a tremendous change in my career as far as professionally and uh, mentally, technically everything so right well you're holding the uh wba naba light heavyweight strap wbc baby <laughs> i'm sorry yeah, i'm sorry about i forgot that. the other belt at home <laughs> yeah, yeah, <anyone> <laughs> they called me up there was like where's the other belt i'm like it's at home <laughs> like who's gonna go get it i'm like oh shit i don't know <laughs> yeah but as you start making your way through the rankings now, I mean, um, you're probably looking for a rating at this point, a ranking? Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, where we're, are we? We're, uh, he's in the top five now in the BC and the BA, I believe. Okay. Yeah. It yeah. was seven. We were, we were, I think, we were seven. seven. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we and believe with we these. Both belts, yeah. You know? yeah. So, yeah. So we have the WBA and ABA and WBC and ABF. Um, we're very thankful to. Mauricio yes, Suleiman and Gilberto Mendoza for the opportunity and Mr. Gary Shaw and uh, Mr. Seymour what's his last name what's the, what's Seymour yeah, I don't know huh I'm Mr. Seymour Zivic there you go yeah that's <laughs> somebody else remember. yeah yeah he, kn <laughs> he knows Seymour bro <laughs> yeah so they might have been Brian uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes yeah, it was told you it was Brian back there uh, so talk about, about this fight tonight, just a little bit. Um, you, know, you obviously put the work in. It seemed like you got a little bit frustrated, you know, probably like a third of the way through the fight. I really didn't get frustrated as far as not knocking him out. We knew that he was a difficult, difficult guy. Yeah, he was... He's but gonna, he held the whole fight. He did hold. Yeah, and he's answering my questions. He did hold, <laughs> but um, we still should have gotten the job done. Yeah. We still should have gotten the job done, but it was a year since we fought. There's a lot of excuses, but there's also a lot of good things we did. There's also a lot of not so good things. And we're going to go back to the drawing board, reduce the not so good things, come back to the game plan with better things, and become world champions. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, you put the work in regardless, right? So you got that. You got, <laughs> <laughs> you got to look at it as some experience, yeah. if nothing else, right? Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, what was the whole story with uh, you know? Obviously, uh, you know. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, a couple of a couple of those punches might have been below the belt, but I definitely think that he was the complaining about a lot more the, than yeah. than than, than there were. The punch that they that they took the point away was a low blow. Right. That's from yeah. my angle. That's what and, I needed to and see. And there was some low blows, but not then. And then uh, the referee is very inexperienced, and I'll say it again. Yeah. If he ever gets picked, if we fight in Florida again, I don't want him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I already told that to Suleiman and the president of the WBA. Uh, because he doesn't have the experience. Yeah. The guy held. I thought he tried to fight my failure, not fight my failure. Yeah. You know, and he couldn't get off. And then he didn't fight for a year. Don only gave us one fight in a year. Yeah. And that's why I quit Don. Yeah. I, I was a loyal guy with Don for 45 years. And I didn't like, and you could print it. I didn't like that this kid was out of the ring for a, a year. And we were in the gym. And we were in a gym. We were in we the were gym for a year. We were supposed to fight for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Yeah. Don said, I moved up. I moved up to 200. Up? Yeah. Moved up to 200. Thank you. Tell him. Speak. We, well, you we, were training that way when I saw you last. No. no. So I, was, I moved down to 68. When I signed with Don, okay. I fought for a vacant 75 title that Al got me three weeks before and won it. Then along the way, 
I met with Don, with Al, and I said to Don that I could make 68 to 201. So that he, was a mistake. And that was a mistake because <laughs> he has Noel and he had Macabu. So then a couple months later, he calls me. He's like, you want to fight Noel for the 200-pound title? Meanwhile, I'm walking around 180. Mm -hmm. so, so he took it. So he, I was like, take the fight. All right, we'll, we'll take it. We'll because take it for a championship I, you know, fight. Because I, we didn't want to stay inactive. Yes. Yeah, so I gained. And I spoke to his father. I tried to gain 15 pounds, gain 15 yeah, pounds, went to Mexico, did the whole convention. And then he doesn't deliver the fight. Then he gets me ranked at 200. We go, we were supposed to fight January 21st. We don't get a fight. They sent him to... Uh, so then he calls me back. They sent you to... Saudi Arabia. He calls me back and he's like, okay, we'll get you ranked at 75. So then back in February, I'm like, all right, so now he wants us back at 75. We got to go lose weight again, which is fun. I like, I mean, I, I'm a he health... Loves, he loves to train. Yeah, like I'm a health junkie. I'm like Brian, but like, I try to be like Brian. <laughs> but... Um, it's still not fucking fun and easy to train for free. Get your, get, have Al Banani curse you out every day, call you a piece of <laughs> shit in front of my father. <laughs> you know, he call, he tells and me. Father, and his father says, I, I wish you would tell him again. <laughs> yeah, go, tells me to go f myself in front of my dad. And I, and he, and my dad's like, yeah, tell him. <laughs> so it's like, I don't want to deal with that shit, So it's good. It's, it's, a, it's a, it's been a, it's been a rough, 15 years yeah. of boxing yeah. <sighs> but looking at this whole situation i'm very blessed to be in it because bro i came into this business with no friends no family nothing and to have brian trying to help me out through the commission al trying to help me out as a legendary hall of fame trainer with dawn being interviewed by you guys like I'm not supposed to be in this situation coming into boxing. Like, I'm a fucking, I'm like a good boy, bro. <laughs> so, like, this is an honor and a privilege, and I'm super blessed. You be the champion. Yes, so it's time you to be champion. Old. And you know you will. And I'm you gonna know, try. You know you will. Thank you for saying so, that. Thank absolutely. You. No, dude, you got. <laughs> dude, I know I will, but right now I'm thinking I'm like, this is what it feels like. My hand, my head. I yeah. gotta fight better beef. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Bro, what the? F but you know, but, yeah, yeah. but with uh, but I'm telling you, with all the experience, with all the time, yeah. with all the places you've been and the people you've been with, and everything It'll catch you've, you've you've caught on to. You know, I gave him his first four fights. Yeah. Here, because me and Don fight all the time. Yeah, he's been my friend for 45 years. Yeah, people don't know that. And. He gave me my first four fights here at the I highlight. Gave him, I, okay. I had a fight with Don verbally, and he fires me every <laughs> nine months because I'm the only one that tells him F you <laughs> nice. if he's wrong. And and believe me, so this kid, I gave him the first four fights. With and Carlos. He was the he was the trainer. He's been the trainer, and I didn't change Carlos. But I wanted to give him more defense. Cause you could you imagine tonight if he did if he had his hands down, he won his fights by sheer aggression. But today he was blocking punches. And he really wasn't himself today. Yeah. But he came on in the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth rounds. Because I actually hit him in the corner. I slapped him in the face and I said, Am, am I losing? I says, I'm gonna kick the f <laughs> and I hit him. Yeah, I did. Twice, and, twice, and, twice. You know, because he was winning the fight by, by a margin, a very slight margin. Yeah. And I, obviously, 95, and I want to thank I Rick Fisler, okay, who's yeah. his cut man and, and works with him as well. If it wasn't for these two guys, because, hey, I'm an old man. I'm 75 years old. I don't go in the center anymore. I've had 12 world champions, and I want him to be the 13th. Let's go. Amen. That smile. That sounds Let's go. good. So back to you. <laughs> back yeah, you can leave it at that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. It's all been said. It really has. So Thank congratulations you. on the victory tonight. Thank you. It was a well-fought, well-earned victory. Yeah. You know, you had to struggle through it, and that just helped make you stronger. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. And you know what they're That's say. a beautiful way to look at it. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so, bro. Sometimes finishing a fight in one round is nice too. <laughs> like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to get, but you know, then you want to get back in there. This is ringing experience. Yeah. 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 I don't want to get back in there. You're right. Right. I know you want to fight again soon, but if it's the right fight, you may have to wait a little bit for it. At least you got those rounds in. Yeah. Ten rounds. You're right. I want to get back in there again. So. Thank you. Congratulations once again. Thank you, brother. See you again soon. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. Absolutely. Very welcome.